Welcome back friends. So yes, you read that title right. I've had this truck now for one year, 20,000 miles. I've never used one drop of water to wash it. If you want to know how, stay tuned. Okay, let's go over the ground rules of how I've done this one year experiment. I would call it an experiment. I don't know what you call it. Test maybe. So, I don't do any mud bogging, but dirt roads, yes, done dirt roads, gravel roads, a lot of highway driving. Like I said, 20,000 miles. We pull a lot into campgrounds, which uh, get, get dusty and whatnot. So, uh, it's not a pavement princess completely, but it gets regular road grime. I mean, it's I, I don't keep it in the garage. I keep it outside and uh, it gets dirty. It, it, this color does a good job of looking clean. Like right now, I haven't washed it yet and it still looks okay on camera, according to my little screen. But it's pretty filthy. And I'll show you some B-roll footage in that. Now, a couple of tricks that I did. I didn't use any water. Let me be clear about that. But if I ever got chunks of mud on it, which happens a few times, I did let it rain and I ran through the rain a couple of times before I would, uh, I would wash that part off. So. Um, just to be fair, if you got chunks of mud, this technique is not going to work. Let it rain, let the, the, the road water wash some of that off, but then you should be good to go. So literally no water, 20,000 miles, and we're good. So how did I do this? So not only how did I do this, why is this important for RVers and such, especially full-time folks? Well, a lot of times you can't wash your rig in a campground. I would say most campgrounds don't allow you to wash your rig with soap and water at your campsite. It just makes a big mess, you get runoff, etc., etc. So, what do I use? You guys have heard me sing these praises before of these this stuff right here. We're not endorsed by them, they don't send us free stuff. I bought this with our own money. Wash, wax, all. This stuff is a champ. Uh, when I bought this truck back in August, I made the decision, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go a year and not wash it and just use wash, wax, all. So, I've let you in on that little secret, but at the same time, I need to, I've need i learned over the course of the last five years of using this stuff, the best technique to use while to use wash wax all. So I'm gonna show you that today. Uh, we'll do a little B-roll footage of what it looks like before, and then we'll do some B-roll of after, some time-lapse, some fun stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's get started. It's hotter than blue blazes out here. So I really wanna get this done, and uh, let's get started with the, uh, with the cleanup. Okay, so what do we need to make this work? Uh, you can see here, I've got my two lint-free towels. You can get these at Walmart, whatever. Uh, I, I'll link in Amazon, but you can probably find them cheaper. So don't use my links unless you just don't want to go to the store. Um, but two lint-free cloths, one damp. So technically, I guess I've used water to dampen this, but I've never sprayed water on the truck, all right? And then one dry, all right? All we're gonna do, and, and it's a little nerve-wracking, I'm gonna be honest with you, the first couple times you use this stuff, when you spray it on this road grime and then you immediately just wipe it with a wet rag, your first thought is, man, I'm making all these micro scratches. I'm gonna damage my clear coat. It's gonna look like crap. That's just, it just doesn't happen that way. That's well, that's the beauty of this stuff. It actually works. So, um, it, and you have to, it makes you a little nervous at first. But the best way I've found to use it, the easiest best way I've found to use it is to spray a little bit on, doesn't take much, that was probably a squirt and a half maybe for this most of this fender and then I'll have my dry one ready just wipe this thing down you can see that stuff just disappearing it also leaves a great just waxed protected finish I didn't even spray over here I'm just using the stuff that was on the rag I'm not nervous about it anymore and then go immediately, especially today, it's like 95 degrees. I'm in direct sun. You would never want to wax in this situation. But then immediately, as soon as you wipe it with the wet, you can't come behind it fast enough with the dry. And that's it. So I have just washed, dried, waxed, and buffed this fender in however long that just took. What was that, 20 seconds maybe? 40 seconds, I don't know. So yeah, and it's nice smooth finish. You know how it feels when you just wax them. That's exactly how this feels right now. So I'm gonna get going on the whole truck. I'm gonna show you the wheels, you do the wheels, you can do the windows. You know, a lot of this stuff, you can't do windows. It ends up looking greasy or whatever. Now, 
windows aren't a problem. I just did an I just did an intro up here. Forgot that my mic was around backwards. Ten, and then a dry one of those. And uh, so it's nice and clean, but it's yeah, it windows everything, the rubber, everything. So let's get started on the truck. Okay, I definitely don't want to forget about telling you this. Aero Cosmetics, who makes the Wash Wax All, they also sell this little uh, bug scrubber. Now, when you feel it, you're like, I'm not putting that on my paint. That's going to scratch. Nope. Not going to scratch your paint. Not going to scratch your chrome. Not going to scratch your paint. Not going to bother your clear coat. I have no clue what it's made out of, but it just works. So, a lot of times on the front here, whether I have bugs or whatever else, I got. you'll see I got a little spot right here. Can you see that on the camera? Here, I'm going to bring it a little closer. What does it look like there? So, got some nice bug juice there, all right? So literally, all I do, baby squirt. That's probably a tenth of a squirt. Get in there, you can mash with this thing, man. It's not gonna, I'm telling you, man, after a year, the five years of using it, of Wash Wax All, and one year of using nothing but Wash Wax All on a brand new truck, you know, the only thing that could have given it micro scratches is this or this and I don't have any. I'm still in really good shape with my paint. You can see that's gone. Got a little bit in there. I can't hardly get with that the corner of that R. But anyway, you get the point. Now I'm protected. Feels nice and waxed. This stuff's just hard to beat, all right? It's just, you know, just is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. All right, here's a prime example where this stuff can really shine. I got grease here. Spotted up some grease, a couple of spots here on my door. Just did my driver's door, had 10 times this much. But, hit it with a little wash wax all. I don't have any worries using this scrubber. So this scrubber, take that, take that grease right off, man. I mean, I feel like I'm at a carnival selling y'all something that looks too good to be true, but I'm not. This stuff is the real deal that's why i'm sharing it with you because it's just you know i'll i'll include a link i don't care if you use my link or not it helps the channel when you do but it doesn't matter i mean i just really want you to have something that can help your life especially you full timers out there who can't wash your rigs at the campsite all right it's kind of hard to see on camera the little grime that i've got here on my my uh running boards but this stuff works on chrome too. So I've got some grease right here. Usually I would use my, my uh, lint-free cloth for that. But since I've got a little grease, I'm going to use this bug scrubber. And I'm going to show you again. Get that grease spot right there. There's no scratching. No micro scratching. Grease is gone. Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you it's going to take up a whole can of grease. Don't get me wrong. But it'll take up all the grease that a normal person is going to put this thing through. Just come back and buff it. Just comes back looking like new. So keep in mind, I've been scrubbing this thing for a year with this stuff. And I don't, I mean, I see a little, some hair scratches here, probably from me stepping on it. But there's no swirl marks. There's no micro scratches. I, you know, I want to make sure to emphasize that. Because that's the one thing that keeps people from using something like this is like I'm not going to ruin my clear coat and put a bunch of micro scratches in my clear Now those, those automatic car washes, that's going to scratch the crap out of your paint or your clear coat. So I know, I know what I mean when I, when I say those micro scratches. My wife, we've got a minivan, she, um, she likes to run through the car wash and I call it the scratch factory. You know the automatic car washes that give you the free vacuums or whatever. I call it the scratch factory. I'm not going to run my truck through that. I don't mind if she does it. It's her car. And it looks good from afar. And the free vacuum is nice. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to those micro scratches. If you look at her car, 
really close, you can see that her clear coat's been scratched up pretty good. But here, there's nothing. It's good stuff, man. All right, guys, so before we wrap it up, I wanna go ahead and show you how they work on the wheels. I've got polished aluminum wheels. Now, you guys know we like to use Pledge on our tires. We've done that video. Uh, we thought it would work as tire shine, but uh, it doesn't work too well as tire shine. I'll just hit that, hit the tires with the pledge. They do pretty good. I'll finish that up in a few minutes. But uh, I haven't even uh, spray. I don't even spray my wheels. There's enough wash wax all on your rag when you're done to hit your wheels up. So I just get it going. These wheels are, they're not too bad to clean. I've had easier and I've had much worse. But basically you just wipe them down just like you do the paint. I mean everything's the same process. That's what's cool about it. There's nothing there's nothing different you need to do for the chrome versus the windows versus the paint. It's all the same process. Wipe it on and immediately go back and wipe it off. And I have no idea yet. I'm not in editing of course how well this is coming up on the uh, on the actual screen. Let me tell you something, this mirror shine, there's no scrap, no uh, micro scratches. They're super clean. 20,000 miles, a year old. Hey buddy, hey. Beckett's out. He loves to help me wash the car, don't you buddy? Uh -huh. Yeah, what am I washing right now? The tires. Well, are these the tires or are these the wheels? The wheels. Yeah, that's the wheels. What's the tires? The... Yeah, what's the wheel? That's right. Good job. You want to okay. help me? Yeah, you can help. Go for it. Just use that on wherever you find on the wheel. Oh, I'll scrub that. Okay. Yeah, good job. Don't ah. oh, don't undo it, though. Okay. There you go. Good job. You want me to get over here? Yeah. Let me see it. Let me get over here. Got the video going. You want to say hey to everybody? Say hey to everybody. Hey. Hey. Beckett is my master mechanic. He don't mess around. His Jeep, his Power Wheels Jeep, runs like a champ, doesn't it? Yeah? It's good stuff. All right, guys. There you go. If I hadn't convinced you tonight by this point that this is good stuff, well, you just don't need it. All right? Um, I hope you find this useful. You folks that have a hard time finding a place to wash your rigs, you don't want to go through the Blue Beacon and all that, this is an option. Uh, boats, uh, RVs. Uh, air, they started off as an airplane, uh, as an uh, airplane product that they would use out on the, uh, I guess they'd use them in the, in the hangars. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll leave a link to this stuff in the description box below. Uh, what I'll link to is the actual Aero Cosmetics Amazon page. Uh, if you can find it on sale, by all means, find it on sale. You want to say bye to them? Bye. Say see you later, dudes. See you later, dudes. <laughs>